Eighth grade open up resources, illustrative math, unit two, lesson seven, similar polygons. Problem number one, triangle DEF is a dilation of triangle ABC with scale factor two. In triangle ABC, the largest angle measures 82 degrees. What is the largest angle measure in triangle DEF? Angle measures don't change in dilations. Since the largest angle measure was 82 degrees in triangle ABC, the largest triangle of the dilation will also be 82 degrees. Problem number two. Draw two polygons that are similar but could be mistaken for not being similar. Explain why they are similar. Here's an example of two polygons that are similar, but could be mistaken for not being similar. Polygons A and B are similar because the angle measures remained unchanged, and polygon B is a dilation of polygon A with a scale factor of 3 fourths. Problem number three. Draw two polygons that are not similar but could be mistaken for being similar. Explain why they are not similar. Here are two polygons that are not similar but could easily be mistaken for being similar. One reason why they look similar is they're both made of 90 degree angles. Line segment BC is one half scale factor of line segment FG and line segment CD is two-thirds scale factor of line segment GH. Here's another look. Two is half of four, making a scale factor of one-half, and four is two-thirds of six, making it a scale factor of two-thirds. The two polygons are not similar because the scale factors of the side lengths are different. Problem number four. These two triangles are similar. Find side lengths A and B. Note, the two figures are not drawn to scale. Since these figures are not drawn to scale, we'll have to use the information that they provided us to help us figure out what the scale factor is. So let's look at these corresponding side lengths, 3 and 9. Well, I know that 3 times 3 equals 9, so the scale factor must be 3. Now that we know that the scale factor is 3, let's apply that to the other information that they've provided us. For this side length 5, 5 times the scale factor equals B. So plug in 3 for the scale factor and you have 5 times 3 equals 15. So the missing side length for B is 15. Line A's length times the scale factor equals 21 or 21 divided by the scale factor equals line A's length. 21 divided by 3 equals 7, so the missing length for A is 7. Problem number 5, from 8th grade unit 2 lesson 3. Jada claims that B prime, C prime, D prime is a dilation of B, C, D, using A as the center of dilation. What are some ways you can convince Jada that her claim is not true? First I'll check to see if A, C, and C prime are collinear, and they are. And I'll check to see if A, B, and B prime are collinear, and they are. And A, D, and D prime are also collinear. So, so far so good for Jada. I'll have to do a little bit more digging to convince her that her claim is not true. Let's compare the two angles. Angle BCD looks to be wider than angle B'C'D'. The angles do not have the same measure. B'C'D' is not a dilation of BCD because they have different angle measures. Also, if you look close enough, you can see that line segment CD and line segment C'D' are not parallel. And it's because of these reasons that B'C'D' cannot be a dilation of BCD. Problem number six from eighth grade unit one, lesson eight. A, draw a horizontal line segment AB. B. 
B. Rotate segment AB 90 degrees counterclockwise around point A. Label any new points. Going to insert a right angle sign. This identifies it as a 90 degree angle. And I'll place a new point on the end of the line segment and I'll identify that point as point C. C. Rotate segment AB 90 degrees clockwise around point B. Label any new points. I can insert a right angle symbol to identify another 90 degree angle and I can add another point at the end of the new line segment and I'll label that new point D. D. Describe a transformation on segment AB you could use to finish building a square. Rotate segment AC 90 degrees counterclockwise using C as the center of rotation.